we shall see. But anyways, probably we're going to redo the intro for YouTube. It's your boy, Eric of EMFC. Oh, this is Matt from UFC. We're back for Wrestle Chat Wednesday on a Thursday. Yes, oh so we'll, my God. Let's busy week. It. Busy week. Yeah. Let's get straight well, let's into, get into it. it. Friday Night Smackdown. Let's get into it. Smackdown, bro, from Wisconsin, Milwaukee, the Fizzlever Forum. Um, two balance fight. Two balance. Uh, oh, I know. I know. Rey Mysterio, firm return. Oh, yeah. Actually, this match is pretty banger, Super bro. firm return. Super he Dominic Mysterio. Was, he was... <laughs> not doing so well in the ring he was making a lot of mistakes unfortunately um he was again facing a kind of a long time rival i don't know how long the storylines have been going but he was facing uh el fake idolo santos, santos, santos escobar. escobar and the match ended with a surprising return which i i personally didn't expect it i thought this feud was over with either. thought yeah. it was done dominic mysterio for some reason just comes out of nowhere and he uh, he, inter- he interferes and screws his dad over, and thing wins clean, losing me points. But we'll talk about that in our fantasy later. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like I don't know. I feel like there's already a lot going on. Maybe they're trying to focus on WrestleMania. Maybe that's mm-hmm. how they force Dom onto the card. Dom and Santos versus uh, Ray and Carlito, most likely, which is probably what's going to happen. Um, mm-hmm. I just I feel like Dom has been doing great on his own, uh, especially with his Judgment Day work and stuff. Like he's already proved mm-hmm. himself a heel in the business and probably the number one heel in all honesty in the business. I just don't want him to fall back in his dad's shadow, and that's yeah. how I felt when I when he came out. I'm like, I've seen this already. It's kind of over I and done with. They should have kept them separated for a while until he retires his dad. Cause yeah, Lord knows that's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah, but. Yeah. It's still exciting to see him again. Triple H could just have him there just to be like, "Oh, I hate my dad," and then they don't they don't do anything with it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't too implicative, other than you know him helping him. Mm-hmm. He didn't like cut a promo on Ray or anything. Or well, he hit he's... up he hit up uh, Santos. So I don't know if they. Like, said, oh, yeah, but they're also trying to they're trying to recruit. Uh, and Ludo, Ludo. So maybe so maybe they're just <laughs> talking. You know, that's true. All that's the heels, true. all the Spanish heels are talking. You know, so maybe he's trying to. Just help out a little bit. But yeah, no, decent match. Uh, Ray looked a little, uh, he looked like a dad. That's for sure, bro. He got a little, he's looking like me out in there in the ring, bro. Mm. The body, the body's gone, bro. He's got, he's got rolls, but that's it. He's 49. Uh, I can't. Yeah. Because uh, it was, uh, he's I'll... always, he's always on the Modellos, so. If we're, if, that's it's not fine. even a grain of sheets or in in the what's it called in the, the sheets, sheets. grain in the in sheets the whatever it is it's nothing it's none of that stuff uh Rey Mysterio's daughter of course if you guys remember from last Wrestlemania uh anyways Aaliyah uh she posted her, a TikTok with her dad and he didn't have his mask and people are freaking out but I'm like haven't you guys already seen him without the mask already like he he always <laughs> posts on his Instagram I don't know but nice. it was a full on video like him dancing with his daughter or something like that I don't know anyways continue with the next match um it's like the news of the day yeah, I'm just going to go through the matches. The other segments we can talk about. Naomi was around talking to um, Bailey. So, Bailey, the Pokemon, yes. Just, yeah, uh, and then Theory. Th- th- uh, was What do I call him? Austin Waller. Oh, faced the OC the in rubbing. a qualifying match. And they won. Shout out to the boys. Picked them up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they're in there. But uh, I'm, I'm also surprised that it's not... Um... They're not in at WrestleMania. They have to fight another qualifier match. Oh, and that's yeah, that's yeah, this week. So they have to fight. New catch. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Yeah. It's oh, kinda, good, good. Thanks sad. for reminding me because I gotta switch up my my. I didn't switch my lineup mm. up, so I gotta do that mm. when we're talking. And then the street profits. Uh, yeah, street street profits had their match. Uh, Eo had a match against. Oh, we know. Pretty sure that who, was. Who she fight against Naomi? She yeah. fought Naomi. Yeah. Because uh, anyways, yeah, they brought out Bianca and other yeah, people, exactly and Naomi yeah. got sprayed in the face, mm-hmm. which set up stuff for later. Uh, Jay Cargill in. is coming, and she's undeniable. Oh, I oh, forgot about that as well, bro. So much muscle, I forgot. so I much down off, smack. Bro. God damn it, bro. <laughs> Whatever. I, I still feel like she's uh, not gonna do anything. She's. I feel like she's more of like an after WrestleMania kind of thing. So, mm-hmm. Homa, is that the the Duff beer? Of course, bro. Oh, oh sir, man. The Turvis Cup is lit. Uh, Kevin Owens is talking with Nick Aldis, and then Pretty Deadly walk in. They're like, oi, mate, oi. And Kevin Owens makes fun of him, and then Randy's there, and he's like... Yeah, and so they said he's like... Oh. 
and they run away. That was so great. they have a tag match this week. And he's like, oh, my dad used to have that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and then he does the oh, double knockout. <laughs> this is a good segment. This might have been my favorite part. Uh, uh, LA Knight came to AJ Styles' house and oh, got lovely. arrested. Lovely. Lovely segment, bro. Lovely. Um, <laughs> what else? Uh, Street Profits versus Authors of Pain. Street Profits won. Mm-hmm. Um... And I'm going to put it out there. I love how they're doing the the tag teams nowadays. Mm -hmm. Like, Triple H knows what he's doing. He's really, really focused on tag teams. And it it truly helps a lot, like, with the card. Like, it it changes it up because I'll eventually get bored, like, another 1v1, another 1v1. But these tag team matches have been very competitive. And even the losers, like, they still come out, like, looking good. So the authors in pain in this match, they lost via, like, a sick roll-up. So, like, they're going to hit that, like, double finisher that they both carry. Almost like a farmer's stand. Glider. Yeah. Glider scope. Yeah. And then, um, uh, what's his name? Dawkins? Dawkins. Dawkins? He comes in, he does that little, he does that little big body bump or whatever, which pushes the one out of the way. And then, uh, four just rolls into, like, uh into like a ball like a and, he, and he gets into a special and he, he wins so it doesn't make the others look weak they can continue the rivalry or whatever it was just like a, a little smarter than them in the yeah. match which is yeah. good yeah and yeah no it, it feels like before covid when we had the new day and the usos going at each other and the street profits were coming up then you had the viking bellens but mm-hmm. it was all bangers back then and then it kind of fell off uh during covid and now they're back tag teams are back and it's cool Hopefully, when they split the belts, it's going to be even better. Um, the main thing for this uh, night was Cody versus well, Cody and Roman talking in the ring by themselves, which was set up. Pretty good promo. Roman cooked him, and then everybody showed up like it was Civil War. Uh, Jimmy and uh, Solo showed up because, you know, the bloodline never rolls alone. It's always a lie. But then they were smart, and Seth and Jay came out, and they're like... Oh, of course, they always have their Captain own. Captain America's shield. Because wrestling has more than one royal family, of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, oh, my God. Like... It's Sorry. Austin. Stone my Cold. God. Stone, Stone cold. cold. Stone Cold. For God's sakes, Stone Cold is back. Oh, my God. For God's sakes. And that's Johnny with, what did it say, 22 months? Oh, my Lord. Appreciate that. Appreciate the sub here on Twitch. I think my favorite match was... With Stone Cold returning. Was, was the rub <laughs> match, bro, because I don't remember the other ones. Um, I was going to say my favorite segment is probably the one you mentioned earlier, the AJ Styles versus, mm-hmm. versus LA Knight is home. It's funny because they Good. did uh, the camera footage. From like the car, and then they had like, like the footage, cam, yeah. the footage from like the the uniform, which I, I thought was so jokes. As they came in and they arrested him, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna come beat your ass. Yeah, I'm gonna come <laughs> over until you show up on SmackDown. Yeah." And then he goes, into, they throw him in the police car. He's like, "You guys probably get paid a lot to do this." So you guys, <laughs> so you guys are gonna probably get a raise later this week because I'm gonna be back if this guy doesn't come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is going to be good. Hopefully, they make it like a backstage brawl or something. I don't even know. Mm-hmm. Like, just make it a little street fight. Every Keep... Ever since we... Triple H, sorry, I was going to mention, ever since uh-huh. Triple H and TKO took over, as you were saying, these street fights, these backstage moments, and then what's going to happen on Monday Night Raw, oh, wrestling buddy. is so much more entertaining than it used to be. Like, it's actually a lot of fun now. And you know why it's entertaining? Because the final boss is back, bro. <laughs> the final boss is here. As Johnny will will tell you, appreciate you stopping mm-hmm. by, Johnny. If you're still working, hope your workday is going well. If not, get the hell on 2K, bro, because we have <laughs> matches. Call Georgian. We'll call everybody. Call Jor, bro. We'll have the fucking eight man ladder match. Anyways, of course for Raw. <clears throat> Me uh, today, I'm not wearing my contacts. Of course, um, I occasionally like to wear my glasses when my eyes are too dry. Of course, you're welcome. <laughs> Why the hell are you wearing glasses? Because I joined the club, bro. Because he's a wizard. He's a wizard, Harry. I'm back, bro. He's a my wizard. Left eye, my left eye's, you know, like it's like a negative two point five blurriness or something. So we had the we had the cop. We got to prevent it. Just like my lazy eye, we prevented it, and I had clear sight. Now it's going downhill again. We got to get ahead of it. That's crazy. <laughs> my guy's supposed to be driving us to New York. That's yeah, these are anti glare. These are anti glare. Oh wow, it's at least the guy told me that the lenses. They they shrink the the headlights in front of you and stuff. So oh really, fine, bro? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's a lie, but 
<laughs> it's a, it's it a lot. You see a little bit farther. I don't need them though. Look, oh my Trying God, to make just see. Johnny feel better while you guys are driving. That's insane. <laughs> well, I also did get tint on my car, so that's that should be fun to to drive in. I thought you were driving. <laughs> 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 Anyways, Monday Night Raw, Cody Rhodes starts talking. I didn't watch that segment. Um, but then, sorry. Raw's in Chicago, CM Punk showing up. Let me just preface that. Anyways, so Cody Rhodes opens the show. American Nightmare, blah, 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 blah. Go back. Adrenaline Go back. in my soul. So much Talking soul. about some stuff with The Rock. And then God, The Rock shows up unannounced, bro, to Chicago. Fantastic. Again, Chicago gets everything good in wrestling for no good, good reason, all right? They're lucky CM Punk is from there. It was a great pop. It was a great moment because... Um, yep. Cody was pretty much going off a little bit. He was saying, he was mentioning how Roman doesn't appear. He was mentioning all the things he's been doing for people. So he, he's like the best man at someone's wedding, like, you know, talking to kids, kissing oh, babies, yeah, yeah, all that yeah. stuff. And it's like, because never, Roman never shows up and he's pretty much being the champion. And he's like, kind of like pushing towards that. And then he's like, everyone points to the WrestleMania sign because it's our moment. Like he's like the face, he's the hero or whatever. And that's when The Rock comes out. Everyone, hand back down, everyone on their feet. Crazy. Unannounced. Unannounced. I popped in my living room, I'm not going to lie. Then he's like this. Then he, he goes up to Cody and he's like, Cody, you small pee pee. Are you feeding me small? <laughs> no, but, but what he really said, what Johnny said, is that I'm gonna make you bleed. Yeah, he's like I'm foreshadowing. Yeah, and then he walked out, uh, and then everyone was booing in the arena, and they started saying Rocky sucks. But Rock is like he's doing his heel thing like great, mm-hmm. but continue because now we're onto the greatest Monday Night Raw in like 20 years. Oh, buddy, great Monday Night Raw. So after that, we we go straight to the Judgment Day Clubhouse because you know they run Raw. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of so much judgment. Last week, Ricochet beat Dom, I think, right? He beat somebody. Yeah, he was, yeah. yeah, he beat Dom. Yeah. Uh, in the qualifier match? Or no, with no, the gauntlet no. match. No, the that gauntlet was match. two weeks before. It was the gauntlet. I think that's what they were. And then Dominic anyways. last year, yeah. Or last week, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, JD is like, oh, I'll take him on instead. Uh, So Ricochet and JD have a fucking banger of a match to mm-hmm. open it up. Low key, you know, people flying. Uh, I don't really remember anything. But he did a late. shooting star press standing up, and he oh, landed isn't it. Isn't that like normal for Ricochet though? No, but he landed it like the oh, guy. The guy was standing. On JD. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like yeah, he had to bad. he had to get more air in order to make the flip and land on him properly, and he did it. And people were like cracked. Crazy. Yeah, Canadian destroyers, crazy shit like that. Uh, standing Spanish flies. Love Great it. match. Um, Ricochet won. Mm-hmm. So more more bullsh- more bullshit in the uh, Judgment Day stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, CM Punk is walking around. Bray Wyatt, rest in peace. They've been doing something every week to promote his documentary coming out. So they play his song in the uh, stadium. Uh, Jey Uso is facing Shin. CM Punk comes out. Oh, that's it. That's Solid. it. So, so like the the yeah. lights the lights started happening. And they've been doing that. They've been transitioning to like a wrestler. So, for example, Cody Rhodes last week was like wrestling has more than one royal family. You know, it gets dark anyway, right? So they were transitioning mm-hmm. like the darkness, and then they had the lights. So this time it was CM Punk, and then man's go on on their their feet. It's cracked. CM Punk is going off. He's talking about all nonsense about like Crazy. usually he wants to be in in WrestleMania, but this time he's finally grateful for what he has. Uh, going off, and Drew comes out. He tells the man to cut it, and apparently this entire segment is off like by heart. Off they were the just hip, yeah. roasting each other, and that's another thing I love about Triple H and like even the whole production, new camera angles, uh, cool. new new Lovely. ways to shoot stuff. Uh, of course, there's videographers, photographers here, and oh, um, and more like they're giving more control and freedom to the wrestlers. And I guess they had enough trust in Drew, uh, CM Punk, and Seth on the mic to just shoot from the hip. It was yeah, fantastic. Seth came out after, too. It yeah. was really, really good promo. Three-way promo, too, which you don't see a lot. Mm-hmm. And they were all in different areas, which kind of made it more visually pleasing than them all standing in front of each other in the mm-hmm. ring. Again, of course, we love videography. Drew and his so multiple <laughs> T-shirts, bro. <laughs> Drew was on the on the announcer's desk trying not to have his pee-pee shown because he was in a kilt. Don't shoot on no my pee-pee. kilt, you perb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a great, great promo. One of the promos of the year. 
so yeah. far. I'm not they call themselves the chosen one. CM Punk is like, who chose you? Who chose you? Who chose you? Huh? Say his name. Huh? <laughs> Say his name. <laughs> Say it now. And Drew was trying not to laugh because, you know, of course he's redacted now. Uh, um, and CM Punk, sorry, uh, Seth Rollins comes out. CM Punk just grabs the mic. He's like, <laughs> he's like, no. It was great, bro. They're all shooting off the hip. It was fantastic stuff. They're doing not PG stuff. And I feel that's another thing we're talking about is that now that The Rock came in and he is one of the board of directors, um, and because of the amount of tickets they're selling and the viewership, uh, I we didn't mention it at the beginning, but this was the most sold out crowd for Monday Night Raw in like five years. It's one of the most viewed episodes. And it's because they made it more of like a pay-per-view stage. So they fit mm-hmm. more people inside and it was random. Yeah. And ever since There's the Rock 15, came 15,000, I mm-hmm. think, in like a hockey arena or whatever. Or actually, this was like a college arena, I think. Mm-hmm. And then also they've sell, sold out the last like five shows in a row. Mm-hmm. Which again, that's like fifteen thousand a week. So, oh, you also brought that up. More. CM Punk also mentioned it. He's like, "Thank you to all the the eighty four million people that came out to the arena today, making fun of Tony Khan, uh, the other redacted uh, McMahon, and uh, mm-hmm. probably Hulk Hogan himself, because you know, oh, <laughs> you, you see Not that the segment. Silver dome. Not the silver dome, bro. <laughs> eighty five thousand strong. What the hell you called it? <laughs> um, but yeah, it it was it was quite funny. They teased a lot of what the crowd was trying to say, like make him special guest referee. But apparently, there's going to be special guest commentator commentator at uh, at WrestleMania for their match. Ringside, yeah. And as good. I said before, because The Rock came back, sorry, all these last couple of weeks, yeah, yeah. and they've been getting higher viewerships, they've been getting more creative fe- freedom. So the studios, I guess, they don't mind it that much, like USA Network and Fox, because they're swearing like a mother frigger. CM Punk also said dipshit on on. On live television. Yeah, but he's a, he's a bellend. He's definitely exempt. And when we talk about The Rock, a lot of his stuff gets bleeped out because they have to forward the script. He'd be like, oh, I'm using this word. So they know exactly when he's going to say it. Effing with the final boss. You yeah. piece of shit. So yeah, no, he's going off. Maybe bro. this one was just off the hips, so they were just... They but even, even Cody was but going yeah. off a little bit now. Like, I feel like... Like it's changing in tone, and people are saying he's coming up. People are know? saying like the attitude era is coming back and stuff. No, and, no, no. And this also, is Renaissance era. Right? Also, I we, think it's also it might be the the deal they made with Netflix because they can go to whatever they want on Netflix. It's up to the kiddos. It's up to the kiddos if they want to watch. So it's up to them. You know what I mean? Max. But like right well, now. No, sorry. I was gonna say they're gonna have parental stuff on Netflix, so maybe they'll be able to go higher up because hmm. then kids can't watch it anyways because their accounts could be prevented already. Yeah. Whereas yeah. cable TV. I think you can, but well, have two on Netflix, you know, maybe. For sure. maybe they'll have like a oh, like, a, God, like, a kitty a ne- like a kitty Netflix one. So they, yeah. whenever they swear, they're like bleep bleep, and they just, you know what I mean. And then That'd be sick. For, for the real people, the adults to come in, for the real brothers, they can watch it in TV fourteen or whatever uh, Netflix decides yeah, to no, do. No, it's good. But... It's it's been keeping the content fresh. It's not like oh, I'm gonna take your championship away from you, it's good sir. <laughs> no, it's, exactly you, buddy and i think and the entire these, yep no i was just gonna say they're like all these feuds are very uh they've been very uh high high leverage i guess or high intensity compared personal. to some of the other ones where mm-hmm. they haven't been built up as much very Sorry. personal when cody yeah. starts saying dick on tv that's how you know it's very personal and when rocky whispers small p very personal shinsuke whispers small pp every oh, week every though. week i know <laughs> very intense. very personal everything's intense <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this this Monday Night Raw was a lot of segments and not actually wrestling. And people were like, I don't know if that's, that's a good like thing. It. But it was really good because, again, they're leading to WrestleMania. You don't want to injure anybody. The stories are just like finishing. They're doing their final touches to it. So I, 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 did, matches, I didn't bro. mind it. We had the matches at WrestleMania. The like... Rock segment at the beginning with Cody, great. CM Punk segment, great. They sprinkled that little ricochet and stuff because they're not making WrestleMania. Great. Let's Great know. match. And then they had the tsunami versus Sami Zayn. Oh, don't worry. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. Oh, they had the Candice LeRae match. They're trying to make her heel. So they just went straight into that. Derek cares about that trash next. Um, uh, DX faced the New Day. Yeah. (laughs) With uh, (laughs) R-Truth on commentary. It's because they both qualified, so they're trying to like put him on the card or whatever. Uh, R-Truth and Miz on commentary. And then Judgment Day comes out because they had multiple segments going on. And that, that was really funny what they were trying they to do. Beat them all up. Yeah. And then they, they focused their stuff on our truth. 
which they're like, uh, he's like, go to commercial break, go to commercial break. Yeah, yeah. Cut it, cut it, cut it. He's like, Stu, Stu. Hey, Hades, appreciate the hype and the lurk. I know you have all these like little Japanese symbols now, and I'm like, I was a little confused when when I saw you, and I was like, getting zooming into your streams, like, who is this guy? I'm like, oh, it's Hades. No, it's Nani. That's Nani. This is Nani. Uh. What was I gonna say? Anyways, that that uh, tag team match was a no contest. Mm -hmm. uh, Vinci versus Andrade because unfortunately, Ivar got injured or he was sick or something. But uh, oh, I didn't know that. Something happened to him, so they had to replace him with Vinci. Mm -hmm. I didn't really watch that match. Uh, um, Rhea Ripley addresses this is another banger segment. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Rhea was addressing WrestleMania. Of course, we love it because it's points for me. But then Becky Lynch comes out, of course, as she does. And then Becky or uh, mommy comes after her daughter. And then Becky Lynch is like, no, no. You must not talk about my, my daughter. No. And then she punched, IRL punched Dom in the chest. Oh, buddy, I forgot she about that. Slobber knocker. Oh, man. And then they man. were battling outside the ring. Can we get a footage on here? Of course, I'm the one streaming, so maybe I shouldn't get the footage. <laughs> uh, I'll show you guys the picture real quick. This... Was absolute crack. Uh, yeah. I'm trying. Sorry, guys. It's been a while. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Yeah, hold do, on, let me sneeze. How do you what pop do? up? Let me pop this thing. Oh, you close that, and then there's like pop up on the. Boop. Ah. Uh. Boop. Close that. Boop. Mm -hmm. Close in the corner, mm -hmm. and then we can open this. All right, guys. My God. Make it nice and big here. Oh, I also have to like pull up the big the Bronson thing. Reed. Big Bronson Reed. Um, I'll keep talking while you bring that. What was her name? Becky punches Wait. Dom. Um, so this uh, is... yeah. So sorry, you you can show that. I'm just gonna go. Mm -hmm. uh, Sami Zayn uh, ended up getting a match against Big Bronson Reed. Uh, but Chad Gable is still chatting in his ear. I feel like he's trying to make him turn heel or something. I don't. Mm. I don't know what your feelings are on this segment, but he's like giving Sammy like, like worse like advice tips or something. Yeah. But and then I I don't know. It was very weird. But anyways, so Sammy faced uh, Bronson Reed. Um, they had a segment earlier with Gunter asking if he was gonna watch the match, and he's like, "Big Bronson Reed's gonna win," <laughs> and he walks away. <laughs> but then Boom! Gunter ended up showing up, and he uh, caused Sammy the win because Sammy got distracted. Um, and then, um, Chad Gable was fucking going at him afterwards. Um, he got knocked out. <laughs> I was so clean. So clean. That's funny. I guess we'll pop this on the big screen here. Pop it. Pop it. Then the last and final match of the night was Jay versus Shinsuke. Uh, but prior to the match, Jay was chilling. And Seth came up to him and was like, hey, there's Very something small. off in the force. There's a disturbance in the force. Oh, I know. I forgot about that part. Yeah. He's like, he came up to Jay and he's like, my spidey senses are tingling. Uh, like, got, or they're freaking up. tickling. Because freaking, uh, freaking Solo, tingling. Solo and Jimmy like interrupted Jay or whatever. Earlier. Sorry. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They interrupted earlier. So that's when he came out. I was like, something's off. Something's off. Very small. Yeah, very small. <laughs> so that match happened. It Great. didn't really matter. Uh, during the match, the commentary team was hyping up, oh, the bloodline's here. What's going to happen? So I knew something was going to happen after this match, so I didn't really care. Waiting, waiting. After uh, the match, uh, we go backstage, and Cody is banging. Or not banging, sorry. He's brawling with Jimmy Uso. <laughs> Don't want to get confused. He was, he was fucking up Jimmy. And then Solo was in there. Road stops him as well. And then, are you ready, Eric? Mm -hmm. The okay. final boss himself gets his hands dirty and starts throwing hands on, on Cody. Mm -hmm. Bang. Boom. Straight into a garbage can. Boom. Garbage can on the head. Boom. Into a guardrail. Boom, he was just talking a... his ish. He was like, he was just he was talking like oh, his shit. You're not... well, I forgot what was the line he kept saying. He kept repeating it. He's like, oh, yeah, you like that, huh? Or something like that. You like know. that now, boy? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You like that Papa Tui on ya, boy? <laughs> that Papa Tui. Oh, I'm going to Target in two days. I'm going to have firm. Yeah, I'm also going to get it. Oh, you're getting the tattoo thing? I was going to buy firm it for you. I Papa Tui. you're going to America firm, as well, bro. Firm Papa Tui. Yeah, oh Helena started God. looking at it too because we were watching it. So Helena started yeah. looking into it. She's like, oh, facial products. Yeah. For men. For men. Oh, we love, you know, we love it. But no, Anyways, I was, I was so going to buy it, but not there. anymore. Oh, okay. No, no. 
<laughs> he the Rock is just absolutely bodying <laughs> Cody in the backstage, and then he opens the door, and it's fucking raining in Chicago. And again, if you're a filmmaker, you know when the rain is happening in a movie, that's the sad times. So mm-hmm. it was perfect. Anyways, The Rock starts beating up, throws him outside. It's raining. He rips the clothes off. I thought he was gonna Cody's chuck him dumps. over like there's like a like a little like a little ravine <laughs> like a at the bottom. Lane. Yeah, I think yeah. that's where the cars and the trucks leave. I thought he was gonna chuck yeah. him over. <laughs> I did too, bro. I thought they had like a crash pad at the bottom. I was waiting mm-hmm. on a Rey Mysterio Money in the Bank thing. Yeah, though, yeah. On top of <laughs> WWE headquarters. When he chucks Stone Cold like, in the lake, yeah. and he's like, "Take this to hell with you." <laughs> <laughs> he's uh he's just yeah cody's getting no offense in whatsoever the rock is beating his ass in into cody's like bus that he has now that's sponsored oh you missed one um, you missed something there's something in the background oh yeah i was gonna talk about that after but okay you, go okay, ahead, okay. Go no, ahead. want to go, go into the sheets i can leave it in the sheets you leave the sheets okay, leave it in the sheets continue sorry so anyways the rock is just absolutely terrorizing cody cody gets a crimson mask he blades confirmed yeah. outdoors blood rock collects some of that blood sample for his mama Rhodes belt yeah <laughs> that he was wearing under his clothes yeah so now he has the blood he needs now he just needs the tears uh <laughs> for the samoan <laughs> prophecy to be foretold <laughs> and that's what happens when you f with the final boss is what he said yeah and man's yeah, were like holy line. crud bro Great. and he mentioned his daddy of course but yeah and buddy I know you guys are going to go into New York. It's going to be a bloodbath, dude. The fighting is going to be cracked. And once you hear that glass breaks, crack. Brother, I'm not ready. Like, this got me. This episode of Raw is probably the best episode of Raw I've ever watched in my life. I'm not going to lie. I'm putting it there now. I mean, it could have used, like, a Kurt Angle versus, like, John Cena in the mid card, but this, I don't know, bro. That this was is fantastic. undefeated. This they is probably well. the best Raw I've, been, I've seen since. I started watching wrestling again. So. No, that was a 10 out of 10 Raw. Know. People were like, I haven't watched wrestling in years, but this Rock feud brought him back in. And that was, that was 10 out of 10. That was like the wrestling we used to watch as a kids. And we said the last couple episodes in the podcast where we're like, ever since Redacted uh, McMahon is gone, uh, Triple H took over. And even with the whole TKO merger, they really are in their bag. It's very entertaining weekly. Uh, I'm not complaining about the... Um, about the booking anymore before I used to complain I'm like why did this happen not this again yeah, yeah, this exactly. paper this pay-per-view was trash this weekly event was trash but now like I'm okay with everything that happens and even if like we said earlier if, even if people lose they still end up looking strong mm-hmm. so I'm always there's invested. some point to it as well yes exactly I'm always invested I'm always entertained I always want to watch everything that happens I can't, I can't wait to watch Smackdown tomorrow and then when we yeah. watch uh WWE need for speed to be ready to go, bro, because we're fucking zooming. So, Derek, Derek knew about it prior, bro. He got the Sonic Speed Belt. Oh, he had course. the exclusive. Gotta go fast. He had the exclusive Gotta go fast. Triple H, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll talk about that later. But Anyways. yeah, th- this bef- now it's starting to feel like how it used to feel like during Ruthless Aggression oh. or Attitude Era. But this, this now truly felt like one of the best Raws I've ever seen, and like this, I haven't been this entertained or had this much fun since. 2003 you know what i mean like it's, it's been a long time since i've seen an episode that good so and I, all you cody crybabies were questioning why the rock was there and he was ruining the whole storyline no no all right <laughs> the rock will come in and he'll do what he wants okay and he he told you to wait all right he told you to wait and look what he did and i even look discussed with your i hero. even discussed with seba he was mentioning it earlier oh my god i just lost my train of thought he was mentioning it earlier so if you're there remind me he was saying, oh, there it is. Uh, thanks to CM Punk getting hurt oh, by, yeah. by Drew, this would have never happened because then The Rock wouldn't have interfered. The Rock <laughs> wouldn't have tried to save uh, wrestling by taking over Cody's match, the Cody's backlash Drew happening. Drew wouldn't have a Drew match pushing, right now. All this, like, this nonsense that's happening, even like them, like, elevating their ruthlessness with swearing and stuff like that like it wouldn't have been like this it's if funny it you say that because i i just watched a video where it was like this is all jack perry's fault technically like, yes too yes yes yeah. yes so it's like a domino, <laughs> so watching, it's a domino yeah. effect yeah, yeah. because jack even... perry if he didn't attack cm punk he would have never left he wouldn't have come to WWE. The CM Punk would have got injured. The Rock would have never stepped in. I mean, he probably would have stepped in eventually, but not as quick. 
Because if we're going to go, fell into place. If we're going to go into reason. AEW. They're in the pooper oh, right course. now. They're in the pooper right when the it comes to viewership right now. Their attendance is at an all time low. No, no, they showed no, the no, arena no, in Quebec no, that they are doing this no. weekend. It was empty, no. dead empty. Like it was it, sold out at Dynamite. I was there live. I, I know in but Hamilton. You were in like no. You were no. like Coca Cola Stadium, only fit like no, five people. It was six K. It was you. Strong, it was bro. you and one hundred nerds, bro. I was I'm like, a <laughs> fan now. Anyways, I'll, 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 I'll sum it up for you, right? So AEW this week, uh, Swerve had a match against Take a Shitta, um, and he won. So now he's number one contender for Samojo's belt. So that's happening at Dynasty. And then they also have that bullshit uh, Belen versus uh, the Bruv, <laughs> the Bruv Master, your hatred. So anyways, we're going to get Swerve versus Will Ospreay eventually. So And then uh, Will Nightingale is probably going to win the TBS championship, which is going to set her up against... Uh, C E O, D E O, C E O, C E O. Anyways, so that yeah, that's about it. But anyways, sort of when I drive and all that, empty so arenas. <laughs> so that was Monday Night Wait, Raw. What was your that favorite was part AEW? about Monday Night Raw? Oh, oh, everything, bro. The entire the entire night. <laughs> yeah, I like agree. what should it I take? Agree. CM Punk segment with the boys, the Rock segment from the beginning, very small. The the ending segment. Very big rock segment. All oh, of them were good. Also, I was gonna give my my little point. Uh, I also yep. brought up to Seba when we were doing the points. Um, with Monday Night Raw happening and the Intercontinental Title being in concern, they made Sammy lose. I felt that was very weak. That was the only th- like weak thing of mm. that show because I thought he was gonna be the one to do it. People started kind of training on him, but not really. And now at this point, I don't think he's going to finish it. I think he, he's better off winning money in the bank to fight for the world title because with the I whole think Chad... I hold it till Berlin. With the whole honest. Chad Gable thing going on, I feel like Chad Gable is going to betray Sammy. He's going to cost them during the match. And then Gunther's going to win. Now, I don't see Sammy winning. They booked him pretty weak to go before WrestleMania. With a week left to go, losing a match like that shouldn't be happening. So, yeah. Mm. yeah. I agree. Especially against the caliber of a guy like uh, Gunther who hasn't lost, really, right? So, like, over a year. And that's it for that. Uh, what do you want to get into? You want to get into the sheets? I always want to get lost in the sheets, bro. Let me just bring up my news, bro. All right, let me play the songs. Let's get lost in the sheets. Yeah, you know just what you this is Matt's Dirty Sheets, where we get real dirty and we nut up in the sheets. I'm your host, Matthew from USC. Our first topic of the day is WrestleMania 41. No, no, no. <laughs> WrestleMania 41 has been confirmed to be in DJ's home state of Minnesota. Oh my gosh. Uh, sources have been saying that Minnesota has had it for a while and Minnesota decided to leak the information. But there's also a couple other cities still in the running, so maybe they'll, maybe they'll they'll do them in. Las Vegas has been uh, uh been thrown around a lot as well, which would be a really cool one. We'll see. Um, there is a new documentary coming out with the new uh people of WWE, which should be cool. I forget what it's called, but it's narrated by John Cena. I don't know if it's like a reality show, kind of like tough kind of like tough enough, yeah, yeah, something like that. So we'll see. Hopefully that's going to be cool. Um, uh, there's other news that I didn't listen to. Apparently somebody's going to get a major push after WrestleMania. I didn't watch it. I don't know if you know. Uh, there's no. a new policy now because Vince uh, just loves sleeping with his coworkers. So now you can't have intimate relationships with anybody in WWE. Um, like if you're above or below kind of thing. Okay. So if you're like being supervised by somebody, they can't. Yeah, yeah. Or you have to report it to the company kind of thing. So there's like a new Vince McMahon rule. That's funny. Um, I didn't know that, but good yeah, good yeah. on them still. Yeah, so this has been in the works for a while. Um, I'm going to leave the last segment because this might be grain of salt. You have to take over for Derek. So I'll leave it with a grain of, of salt for what we were talking about. But uh, WWE is also finally, they announced this earlier, but they're doing a new social media wrestling TV show. Uh, it's like three minutes a week or something on mm. on that X. Um, I don't know nothing about that. It's like Hopefully a rush match or whatever. 
yeah, it's basically a full full match like within three minutes, and there's gonna be a new belt, um, but they haven't uh, shown it yet. But it's called WWE Speed, where you just got, you know what I'm saying? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That you meant speed like the the other like streamer. a chow? Okay, oh. yeah, that too. Yeah, that oh, too. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, and let me go check the other news. I think that's it. Uh, there's an update on Vince's documentary but yeah so oh, the other Netflix thing is gonna was ronda it. ronda talking shit about vince again yeah she's go, she's really that. going off i feel like she's very yeah. salty i'm like you could have been talking this ish for a long time but like now you decided mm-hmm. to bring all these stuff up i feel like she's yeah. very very salty with wwe but i'm like buddy you can go back to ufc and get knocked out if you want to as well like like i don't know just very ungrateful especially for all the things they did for her like they didn't have to they didn't even have to bring her back but it is what it is, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess those are the major news. Uh, we could do with a grain of salt or uh, uh, a dirt sheet. Want me to pull it up or the thing we're going to Yeah, I earlier. was just going to read more about the speed championship. So apparently, the match should have a three-minute time limit, so you can't go over that. Okay. Um, there's going to be a, uh, a tournament for the speed champion. So that'll be the first ever speed champion. I don't know if this is going into the lore. I don't know if this counts. Mm-hmm. Like towards your belt total, but John Cena is gonna need to win it. We're gonna need all the uh, what's it called? All the uh, triple crown. What, what are they called, bro? The the I was gonna say people that won every belt. Triple crown winners when they win the three. The other one is um, uh, you know what I'm talking about when yeah. you win the Intercontinental US. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I appreciate sure triple crown winner, to, but they're gonna have to win the the speed championship now. Uh, they're gonna be taping matches before SmackDown. I'm going to watch this video. Okay. I'll put a play this thing in the meantime. Welcome to the Grain of Salt. Fresh and dynamic. Welcome to Eric, not Derek, because Derek's not here. Grain of Salt here, where we get into the sheets and we salt up. Um, so, take it as a grain of salt, but it's also in the sheets. Reports are saying... That WWE has contacted Senior Stone Cold Steve Austin, Rock's ultimate arch rival, arch enemy, literally at the peak of wrestling. Both of them, the at the peak at the top, Stone Cold and the Rock, the major, the major players in the Attitude Era, the major players in wrestling. On God, um, yeah, they contacted Stone Cold. So during that segment that we we're talking about earlier about Cody Rhodes, the truck behind him. It was a huge truck that had two specific wrestlers, John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin, both yeah. al- ultimate rivals to um, The Rock. And of course, John Cena had that little feud with Roman Reigns as well. So mm-hmm. it should be very, very cool. should be interesting. And again, as WrestleMania 40, so the rumors were that they were going to show up regardless because um, it's supposed to be Civil War. usually they bring up the old legends, they did the same thing with WrestleMania 30 where they brought The Rock, Stone Cold, and Hulk Hogan, the Generations, all all there. Like, of course, they, they ended, but this is probably redacted now, Undertaker streak at WrestleMania 30. So during those events, they always do something special on the, the decade mark. Mm-hmm. And they bring back, like, the biggest legends that wrestling ever had, right? So it is huge, 40 years. That's four decades already gone. So Stone Cold and The Rock, sorry, Stone Cold and John Cena were supposed to show up already. Um, there was rumors that they might put either or to interfere because they would continue the rivalry. But now it could be both because both of them were on the truck. So people were hyped about that, and they said the WWE, especially in Triple H's WWE, does everything for a reason. It's just not no coincidence. The Rock and and oh, sorry, yeah, John Cena was talking and Stone to, Cold uh, there. So what's his name backstage? Too, oh no, right? I count it as a segment, of course. Oh, it's in the background, yeah. And so was cow, bro. And, and, yeah, and Do- and Dominic <laughs> Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio was talking to someone else too. I think he was talking oh. to Elito or something like that. Oh yeah, probably. He was after the matches. Yeah, yeah. He, Anyways, yeah. So always in the background. You Triple H, Triple H is always in the background with something. Uh, and now that it's been pretty much confirmed that Stone Cold has received an offer from WWE, I'm hyped. Everyone's hyped. Oh, I can't wait, bro. Even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't lead to the Rock, like segment, as long as they're there, I don't care. I mean, they have to be. It's it's forty years. They're not gonna not show up. Mm-hmm. They can like, pop it just to me even. Up. 
they, they can like go out and stun Imperium or something. I don't care. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, here's Tom Michaels will be there looking both ways before he crosses the street. <laughs> Triple H is there, of course. So we'll see how that goes. I'm very excited it's, for uh, for the other surprises. Mania? There's usually a lot of surprises that happen. Also, we well, put it out there is the best WrestleMania Road to WrestleMania in a very long time. Mm -hmm. Talking 20 years again. I, agree. I was gonna say um, the Hardys have. <laughs> have been talked about coming back so maybe they're coming because yeah, matt know. hardy matt hardy's a free agent and he appeared in the carolina episode the week before last mm -hmm. week's raw he was there and people were oh, taking pictures with him and stuff did it's you just... see the nxt match with brown breaker in it where he hit the fucking i heard about it suplex though. off the bro and like he did like a little hit... like neck breaker thing yeah no he like the guy did a front flip. He was on this guy's shoulders. He grabbed him like this, like in a fireman's carry, yeah. and then like did a Samoan drop off the guy's back. Oh my god! It was insane. It's Hold cracked. on, I gotta bring the clip up. Oh fuck! Speaking about NXT, push. apparently their pay per view, uh, their Wrestle their WrestleMania is gonna be the same Saturday of WrestleMania. Uh, apparently that's what's so. gonna happen. It's probably before. It's in the afternoons. I thought. Yeah, so it's gonna be in the afternoon and then. Did you night. afternoon then seven o'clock start time for WrestleMania, and they're gonna lead their way to that. Very excited. Booked off the weekend, too. We, we, we will be there. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we, we will be there, of course. Oh, my God. The Rock posted the video, bro, 26 minutes ago. Live on the air. The way the final boss commands it. And it's just him yeah. beating Cody Rhodes' he's been, ass. He's been posting a lot of pictures on Instagram, too, of, of beating up Cody. It's it's really funny. Shout out to Papa oh Tui. Yeah, then the Papa Tui's on the story. I had to follow him after the, the promos, you know? Oh, I had to. I can't believe so I didn't. now I'm in there. Can't believe I didn't, uh, so I had to as well. <laughs> WWE NXT. Next up. Where is it? But I think Whoop That Trick is going to face uh, Carmelo Hayes. So I'm oh, yeah. So they faced uh, Tazawa and Otis mm -hmm. for the spot on the thing. This guy is so overrated. Are these guys on crack, bro? <laughs> Anyways, here, I'll show Anyways. you. It. Are you going to pop it up? The stream won't see it, but you will. Oh, they can see it. Pop it right here. Boop. Bang. Brother. Absolute tarps off, man. This guy's so overrated. It's funny. Oh, my Lord. Yes, I've seen that. I remember that now. Yeah. That was so sick. Brother. That's when the pre-workout starts hitting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely Goldberg light, bro. Give this guy some chain mail. Those are funny. haters, man. Why does it? Oh, why, why the wrestling community just hate, bro? I know we had shit for so long, but like, come on now. You don't see greatness. This man's running, bro. He's running. He had a whole promo on just how fast he is. Very fast. Yeah. I'm glad I see it. You know what time it is, bro to lose because i already seen your score oh did you i always I try not to accident. i always try not to spoil myself before uh before we start but ladies and gentlemen yeah. with no derek around we are back on our little fantasy uh let's see i, was, I guess that's chill dude that's you uh that's how do we keep zooming i can't keep forgetting how to zoom in here oh there it is the magnets right there adrenaline in my soul would you say that the rock is a mid carter no. <laughs> he's, the he's, final, he's the final boss. <laughs> I need to figure out who's going to throw hands, bro. Roman's got to throw hands. This week? He must this week, bro. He must. I swear to God, you oh can zoom this in. Is it? This is font. Oh, there it is. I remember now. All right, guys. So you guys already don't know, to everyone who's joining in right now, we do a fantasy draft. Um, well, we did a fantasy draft already for wrestling. These are the week winners. I'll be able to zoom in just a little bit more. So here we are. Derek, Eric, and Matt. Derek's going to be here today. Uh, so Derek won the first week. Then Matt won the second week. Then I won all the weeks, goddammit. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then Derek won last week. It was the eighth week we did, uh, the game. Which is what? This is our 13th stream of the year. 13th podcast of the year. Yeah. Uh, so, so far, I have five wins. Derek has two and Matt has one. Differential of three, you know. 
Yeah. You got to be a little nervous, you know, just a little nervous. Because you never know when bands have a little comeback. I had a nice little streak because I was very fortunate to choose the people that they decided to push in wrestling. But let's see how long that lasts. This is the March 20th to March 27th. Well, that's who's on my team. I oh, JD. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Wow. Oh, no. How how unfortunate. Papatui? You deleted it? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I'm not I'm not sharing it to you. Uh, <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. And he was missing something. Let me take that. My bad, my bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. With the score of a firm donut. It is Derek. I don't want to spoil myself, but he could have added it on like the bottom. So I'm just gonna check it. Oh, I saw you. You're gonna choose you bastard. No kidding. Uh, I just erased. The, I just erased the stuff down here, so you're good. Yeah. So Derek didn't do anything. Done. 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 So Derek, with a total of zero points. Usually we do this on Wednesday. We said if we don't put our stuff during the Wednesday, we don't make the cut. But uh, he doesn't make the cut regardless. So. Here we are, poor you Derek. Even cry, bro. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna give him a firm zero on this one. It's very sad because Savvy Zayn went kind of off. He lost a match. He probably lost points. Randy Orton just did an appearance. It's not that much. Jimmy Uso appeared multiple times on SmackDown and on Monday Night Raw. So that sucks. He also super kicked someone, I believe. Um, Bailey got jumped a couple times, so maybe a couple points. I don't know what's going on here with this Dominic Mysterio and thing, but uh, he earned a lot of points because he appeared both on Raw and SmackDown like five times. Big miss and DIY showed up a little bit. I don't think he would have won regardless, but... I don't know why he still has Gunther on his thing, but whatever. Go on. I don't know. Anyways, on to Eric's rumbling ranas, and it's been a while since I got to do my own because I was in here the last couple of Wrestle Chat due to work. So let's go back to it. You know the MVPs in this chat is three. He really did anything, really. He did a, a promo at the beginning. He did that segment backstage uh, with Paul Heyman and at the end. I think that's what led to this because he jumped, he jumped Seth Rollins. Uh, that's why Seth couldn't run to the back and help Cody Rhodes mm. to fight. But what I didn't understand is Jay finished his match, but he wasn't knocked out. He was good to go. Why didn't he save Cody? Because Co he's joining the bloodline again. Because Cody took care of Solo. He took care of Jimmy. So why didn't he take care of his brother? Or, sorry, take out of The Rock. I just thought he's joining, he's joining the bloodline, bro. Anyways, because of that, it's 11 points with Drew. Real MVP, as always, is Jay Uso. And this week, again, it wasn't his finishers or signatures, actually. It's just they love to show him on camera. So we had a couple appearances. It. He walks into the building. He's there backstage. He had a promo with... Uh, Seth. With, um... Seth, no? Yes, yes. Yeah, and then yeah. he had the thing with, like, Jimmy and, and Solo or whatever, right? Oh, yeah. And then... Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, these, these were appearances. This one's the one with Seth. So now we're entering times three, and I lo I'm, loving, I'm loving this. So his match, and he had that promo with Seth was here what? so so when he was in the gorilla he was about to make his entrance or whatever uh seth came in he's like my spider senses are tingling something's going wrong yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's like don't worry we got it and then he went through the curtain and then oh so then he did his entrance you know like hyping up the crowd yeah, yeah. they go to commercial break then shisuke comes out he's like da, na, na. and then they had a commercial break during the match making it times three so this promo is 15 which no, is insane no, no it no. is insane that was before that the match went, that would have went that back was before to back the to match back. yeah but we said no, be, we said it, we said that that would count as, as points because it's no yeah. you're cheating bro it's fine so it's 15 yeah, it's fine he went for one super kick two super kicks and then he did the spear to win the match. Pin falls 15. Total 68. Shows Mews. Day one-ish. Sorry, he didn't even get a pinfall, but... Like, he did. He did. He beat Shinsuke. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. Why didn't he go help Cody? He's the bitch, bro. He's <laughs> joining the bloodline. Derek's been saying this for weeks and weeks, bro. I know, but we don't listen to Derek. No, anyways. Uh, Rey Mysterio, Booyaka. Of course, we picked him up instead of Solo because that guy's trash. 
he actually appears and just gets his ass kicked now it's so sad um so yeah, we got we that. had a times two because of the commercials so we had ranas in 619 surprisingly even though he talks about it a lot he doesn't do a lot of ranas anymore i think it's because he's old uh, i was gonna switch to seated senton but he did two seated sentons and he did two ranas so like at the same yeah. same time it's gonna be the same whatever six plus six uh he did not no six one nines very sad Buyaka noises because he did minus 10 as he lost the match. So only two. Very, very sad pickup. My my mid-carders are actually holding me down, in all honesty. I didn't get no commercials this week. I think that's why I lost. I mean, got <clears throat> close to winning. And then Io Sky, she actually had a match. And they promoted that last week. That's why I kept her. She did an appearance when she walked in. Her match was times two. Um... Trying to the see the moon salt. I know that she did a moon salt. Um, she won the match, which well, is the ten- one sorry. would be appearance for the match, and then the other one would be the moon salt, probably. And then, oh, I didn't do appearances, win. it had to be something else. Oh, uh, maybe it's a signature. I wasn't shiny wizard. Maybe she did two moon salts or some shit like that. But... Oh, I do appearances for the match because that's a segment. Oh, no, I mean, remember, I tried to do that last week, and Derek said no. It depends on when you're doing it. No, no. It was after the match, too, and everything was a completely different segment. He said no. Because matches don't Yeah, I know. I'm saying if they're in a match already, that's three points. No, we never counted it that way. Because... Then you would have been winning even more, then. I would have been winning more, yeah. But Derek told me no, so I haven't been including it. Uh, (laughs) That's how you won last week. So six six plus six plus ten uh, equals 25. That's all all from them, in all honesty. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Becky Lynch did. Oh, I th- oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. I think it was an appearance. She did the same thing as as uh, as Jay. So she appeared before the match, and then and then she went into the match afterwards. And it was times mm. two. Becky only did that one promo, so five. She cried like a bitch. Uh, Judgment Day. So I separated him for Finn and Damien. Uh, they had both had a promo backstage. Then they had the appearance when they both jumped uh, the tag uh, teams. Yeah. Uh, he hit a coup de gras. He hit the Spanish choke slam, and then he hit the razor's edge, which is the first time he finally hit both finishers. Usually it was either or. Yeah. So 14 and 11 up, total, 136 points. I'm excited for the WrestleMania. The WrestleMania. I'm excited for WrestleMania because if we're doing all of them, it's going to be pretty cool because New Day might be involved. LA Knight's been doing a lot, but because of these yeah. two workhorses, I can't be adding him anymore. Big Bob was a waste. Tiffany, she's she's making she's always appearing backstage. Our truth has been okay, and Bianca appeared. She's gonna make a match this week, so yeah, one thirty six. I'm for the meaty men, bro. Me, big meaty men. Uh yeah. So this week, Roman five points. Obviously, he loves talking. Again, Roman five points, one commercial. He he had. I don't know when he talked. I think they they had a commercial during theirs, their segment, Roman and thing. So anyways, 15 points. You know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, times two. Uh, Cody, he um, he had his match, but first he appeared, he appeared, he appeared. <laughs> um, then he appeared, and then he, he had a talking segment. This was on SmackDown, I assume? Yeah, I would assume because then it'd be the same as Romans, and then that's Raw. He talked promo. He talked again, mm-hmm. and then he Jumped. got his ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> but it still counts as yeah. week there. Uh, Kevin Owens unfortunately only had that one promo backstage. The double knockout, dude. It was so funny. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was hilarious. I forgot about that part. He's like, Randy, I did uh, it." <laughs> yeah. So he has a match coming up this week, so hopefully that should be good. Mm. Uh, it'll probably be easy dub. Naomi actually got me some decent points, even though she lost. Um, she had two talking promos prior. I forget why. Um, uh, she had she... one with Bianca Belair twice, I yeah. believe. Uh, yeah, one... Oh, and one with Bailey. That's what it was, yeah, mm. yeah. And then uh, she appeared. She hit a uh, split leg slam, I'm pretty sure, during the match, and then she lost... Um, but with the commercial, I think, I think I added that separately. Yeah. The commercial was for that one. So it ended up being two. And then she had that promo afterwards where she was crying. She got sprayed in the mouth. So that was the five. 
Uh, then the Rub Masters, Supreme, Austin Walla. Uh, they just had a match. And I'm pretty sure they had the roll-in bang. <laughs> Actually, no. They both appeared and they won. That was it. Sorry. They okay. didn't hit any of their finishers, which was annoying. But they won for a measly 128, bro. I almost won. I'm so mad. That's yeah. crazy. We were close, bro. We were close. Yeah, you added appearances, though. We don't. No, 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 we always had that. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to do Can imagine it. the Royal Rumble, bro? The Royal Rumble would be like three, three, uh, three. Uh, no, it's no, no. one, one per match, bro. No, 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 no. no. We said that wrestling matches on were... TV. When they're on TV, they get an appearance point. Well, we said we said appearances TV, for uh, for segments. So like they'd be appearing backstage before the match. Those little those little vignettes of them walking in. But they said matches don't count because it's an actual match unless they're in the background or they come to interfere after the match. But if they were already out there for a match, mm. they don't count as an appearance. And that's why Derek was on my case that one week, and I'm like, okay. okay. Well, we have to talk. We're gonna have to revise this after okay. WrestleMania. Okay, but right okay. now, con- congratulations on your win again. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's go. I, mean, I was like, what about Derek? I forgot. Bella didn't even put, put it his on the thing. board. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, winner of. I just great winner. Winner of week nine here on our event, making a total of six victories. Oh is that me? God. I'm getting torched, bro. I need I need to win. Anyways, my pickup this week will help me win. So let's get to that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we're back in the lead, thank God. I mean we're always in the lead, but thank God we're back there. Oh. Okay. Alright. So next is carrying a cross out for Austin Theory. No, 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 that was that's the that was you have before. to go down again. You have to yeah. go down again. Yeah, I'm trying to put it back on the page. There you go. Um, I'm just assuming Derek didn't switch anything, so he's going to be the same this week. So Derek is going to keep Sami Zayn, Randy Orton, Jimmy Uso, Bailey, Dominic, DIY. It's pretty smart. I don't think anyone else is really going to appear. Maybe Seth. He's sleeping on that guy, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Eric's rambling ranas. So we're going to keep Drew, big workhorse. Again, it's the last event before wrestlemania so i assume they're gonna do something say with jay he's probably gonna appear mostly for jimmy mm, Rey mysterio times, i feel like they're gonna finally promote the whole nominic thing so if he he might appear on raw and smackdown uh bianca Belair has a match this week and she's been appearing a lot so kod she's in that bit uh becky lynch always appears so that's always a guarantee especially if they're promoting right before wrestlemania and the same with judgment day so we're keeping it safe EO is probably going to appear in the background, but I don't think she's going to earn as many points as Bianca. Our truth is whatever. Tiffany, I don't think they're going to do anything for WrestleMania. Neither with Bob, but sadly. Uh, LA Knight's probably going to have one promo. That's it. And then New Day are probably going to lose or something. So that's it. All right. So as you can see, we switched up the, the lineup a little bit. So the Rock and <laughs> the Rock and Roman are going to appear. I'm just hoping that Roman appears on SmackDown and Raw. We'll see how that goes. So that's why I put Roman in instead of The Rock. Cody's going to be there no matter what, but he goes to both shows as well. Again, The Rock is only slated to be in Brooklyn where we're going to be, of course. But uh, so we'll, we're leaving Rock on the bench, unfortunately. We don't have space for him. KO has his match. Rhea Ripley, again, is going to be promoting, like Eric said, for WrestleMania. So hopefully she's there again. And she's always there with the Judgment Day. So you got to keep her in. Our new pickup, bro. Go down. Scroll down to the pickup, bro. We had to pick up the finger man himself. Solo. We dropped his cousin, Nia Jax, for big solo fing finger bum bum. Um, Solo's going to be there no matter what, wherever Roman is. And since he's going to be heavily featured this week and WrestleMania week, we're trying to bring in Solo. Hopefully, we can get some Umangas in there. Um, I don't know his moves, so I just put the finger Umanga and not smiling. Uh, you're going to have to help me with those. <laughs> and then uh, New Catch has their match this week. When Not they're smiling. Gonna advance. <laughs> they're going to advance in the... Uh, <laughs> thank you. They're going <laughs> to advance probably into the um, WrestleMania match. So they're facing the Rub Masters, who will be on my bench. Uh, yeah, other yeah, people on my bench, twice. GD. He had a match this week, so I think I missed out on that boat. He'll be shown, but he probably won't have a match. Nia uh, Jax... Which was, oh yeah. I, so who is the yeah. replacement? Rhea Ripley, I, I, Solo. Yeah, I've been. Oh, Naomi, Naomi. Sorry. Okay. 
I've been missing people. So it was JD that I missed <laughs> for a while. So he's in there. Um, yeah, again, The Rock. I have the Street Profits. Maybe I can't remember. Did they? No, they're facing Duke Cash this week. That's why I have them on the bench. Or no. Tripping, bro. They're going to be there at WrestleMania, so I have them on the bench. Mm. That's it. This whole tag team thing's got me confused. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> just well, just get straight to that. The yeah. I'm Put, excited. Pop this in the I big can't. screen. Yeah, WrestleMania should be fun. Brooklyn. So I guess yeah. we'll discuss with Derek also about next week because uh, nope. I'm working on the Wednesday. We'll figure out the whole setup, what we're going to do. And then I guess it's all out on WrestleMania weekend. It's going to be fun. WrestleMania weekend. I'm uh, hosting. Everyone's edition. showing up. It's going to be great. Again, we're our fantasy league is going to be all hands on deck. Everyone on the team can collect points for the mega mm -hmm. monumental. Someone say Kenny. Oh, Omega. also the Slammies are back. Yeah, I heard about that too. Heard about that. Seba suggested a new segment for us to do during that time. And the that Slammy would be Awards. to be the official Slammy Awards of EMFC. Who, who we considered as the best wrestlers, the best moments, and all that Sounds stuff. Sounds good to me, bro, because cool. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing uh, somebody's video right now on YouTube about it. That's why I remembered. And the best fantasy drafter, of course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Where I'm presented with the official UFC Championship belt. Well, then Seba's going to have to come up with categories and who's in, who's in the thing, and then we'll vote. Well, I thought we were going to do the actual one. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, like, they have the it. One, yeah, 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 my bad. Oh, also I watch Madam Web. Bro, 